hey guys it's jovi welcome back to my channel um i just got back in i am exhausted i'm waiting for my mom to get here so i don't feel like dealing with the whole setup but i wanted to come really fast and talk to you guys about my day my day was amazing okay um i've i was kind of so me and one of my bestest friends in the world, I've known her for damn near 20 years, um, was have, have been having a little strife for the last couple of years, right? Um, it's the both of us, actually, you know, it's the both of us. Um, and just, you know, when you are so close with people and you just still behave the way you did when you met each other, you know, um, nonetheless, we've been planning to meet up. You know, first it was two weeks ago, then it was, we moved it to today because something happened. I don't remember. Nonetheless, so we meet up today. First of all, I'm panicking. I've been panicking since yesterday. Can I be real with y'all? That's really why I wasn't live. I, I, I haven't slept. Um, I'm exhausted because I literally had even just three hours of sleep last night. You know, I, I didn't know what the hell. Uh, my anxiety was on 10. I was so nervous, child. Like, it was insane. Um, and it's crazy. Cause I was like, oh my God, I'm panicking. I wrote, we got to the restaurant. I got there a little bit for, for her cause she was driving into the city. Um, I, w I, t I tweeted like, oh my God, I'm panicking. And that's when she, she walked in. And again, we so much alike. She, the first thing she said is like, girl, I'm panicking. And I'm just like, me too. <laughs> you know? So really I'm making this video because I want to talk about self-reflection. Okay, this is what the video is about. The video was really about self-reflection and understanding that we all grow, right? We all grow, you know, dealing with who you are. It's crazy, you know, because I've been thinking about it lately. And, you know, I used to date someone who was very much like me, like extremely similar to myself and you know regardless of whatever occurred it was a really great learning experience for me right for like me dealing with my kid dealing with everybody else you know like even again even this friendship and being able to see how a lot of the times how I come off right you know it's one thing to be very straightforward and direct to peace to y'all because you know you get me in doses, <laughs> you get me in doses, but the reality of it, you know, sometimes, and not even purposeful, I can be very harsh, right, I can be very harsh, and being able to acknowledge that, and see, being able to see that shit in myself, even though it took me to, I didn't see it before, you know, and it took me to be able to see it in someone else, to see and really comprehend how I could come off sometimes, especially, especially to the people that I love the most, right? Especially because, you know, when you don't care about people, I don't really give a shit. You know, I'm not going to really say anything because I don't care. You know, you are always on me, always hardest on myself, number one. I'm very hard on myself. And, you know, I can be, I can come off really hard to other people, right? And I've been working on that for the last couple of months. It was just a crazy because we got there and we just, you know, started talking about everything, catching up on things. I used to speak to this child every day for like hours on a day. <laughs> so, you know, it's been really, it's not like we stopped speaking, you know, completely, but we like fell back, you know, especially since COVID, we got into a situation. We don't need to get into a situation. And, you know, we both had to acknowledge and it was crazy because it was just like this. It was no like, I guess with three years and self-reflection, you know, it wasn't like, no, trying to figure out what happened or trying to figure out who was wrong. You know, everybody or the both of us being able to see, right, where we went wrong in this situation and, you know, how we, um, in our growth, right, in our growth, how we have, you know, we're changing. We're not the same people we were when we met at that internship all them freaking years ago right we are she is married with a baby now and all of this amazing things you know and we are just shit i'm 42 you know we we big and grown we met in our 20s and now i'm 42 you know so i just wanted to say that and you know like i say all the time you don't have you really don't have to be the person that you were yesterday right 
you don't have to say I'm 42 and I'm stuck in my ways and this is just what it is especially when these things and a lot of the times sometimes your behavior you have to be able to self-reflect maybe that's the word of the day self-reflection you have to be able to self-reflect and see because it's not all them and I say that it, even in relationships like man woman relationships but in friendships and you know family relationships and all that shit too right it's not always all it's not all them right it's you too we have to be able to see ourselves and see our wrongdoings to be able to like move on and 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 grow right we don't want to be the same people that we were at 28 or the same people we were at 35 we're big and grown and you must adapt you know and because people who don't when if you don't don't if you don't grow you die right at the end of the day so I just wanted to say that I am very happy like my spirit is my spirit <laughs> is it, it, it feels so you do you know what it is to like and it sounds crazy or maybe you understand what I'm saying she's like my sister you know to like go from like being so close to somebody to like hardly ever speaking and just liking each other Instagram posts because you know but like you hardly ever speaking no more you know now we have a set date and time you know that we're gonna meet up every month to just you know we've known each other forever that's literally like my freaking best friend in the whole galaxy um and it's been hard I ain't gonna hold you you don't you don't know how therapeutic it was to just be able to sit we sat in that restaurant for about three and a half hours <laughs> I swear to you we sat in there for like three hours just talking um being able to get things off my chest you know because that's my that's my rider I mean you know we tell th we tell each other things we would never tell anybody else you know so things and situations that we just been through and you know we ain't never been a judgmental people to an you know sometimes like I said I could be a little mean you know whatever whatever but not really like on a ju we don't judge right so just being able to like both of us being able to just like spew all of these things that we can't really f tell other people we're just so comfortable with being able to express and talk and speak and it just it, it my spirit feels so at ease you know when you it's like when you missing something and you like I feel like I've been missing something for a, you know a long time I knew what it was and a part of me was like you know well maybe I just need to leave it alone but you know uh, 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 God intervened and you know made us like actually communicate and it's the best thing I've ever did in my life I ain't gonna hold you I am very I'm so happy I am so fucking happy I ain't gonna hold you I'm so happy um I'm so happy and I'm proud of us can I say that I'm proud of us for being adults <laughs> I'm proud of us for being adults and like growing up and like being able to express and communicate without, you know, having a meltdown like we would have done years ago. Um, and just being able to be grown and, you know, saying like, I miss my best friend. It's so, you know, it's okay to say I miss my best friend and being able to, you know, had that time to really reflect you know, and it's wild because, you know, when people are, you are that close with people, you pick right up where, where you left off at. You know, I'm spewing off all this information about, you know, uh, my daughter's going schooling and, you know, she was here before my daughter was here. You know, I knew her from but when I was married and I was miserable, you know, like she was like my, my shining, like, you know, so, um, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to come and drop something really quick and tell y'all what's been going on. That's where I've been the last two days. I was literally having an anxiety attack, like for real. Anxiety, a panic attack. Um, I'm going to try to come tomorrow um, and do a live, get some rest tonight, you know, because like I said, my spirit is good. I'm waiting for my mom to get here and I'm literally about to go to sleep. Um because I ain't sleeping like two days. I ain't been able to really think. Because I ain't know. You know it's like. It's like. It's like a breakup. But. This is more important. Because it's not a guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It's like. It's like. Like what is happening right now. But I will say. You know. 
I, 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 sometimes I'd be like, oh, how did I end up in whatever situation with someone who is just like me, right? But it is the self-reflection of it all. And maybe that's what the universe, God, whatever, you know, needed me to experience, right? To be able to experience me. And how I come off to the people who I love the most in this world. So I'm going to get out of here because I'm done talking. Later.